And um, what difference do you think uh, PAs will have in Alberta if fully introduced and integrated? What difference will that will they have? What impact on healthcare? Um, a huge impact, especially because you know there's a lot of rural communities in Alberta. Other than Edmonton and Calgary, majority of the province is rural. I would say, uh, and a lot of the province doesn't have access to you know even a family physician. So. The more P's that we get there, uh, the more access to care we'll provide our patients and drastically reduce wait times because I know in some specialties in Alberta, there's like a one to two year wait time to get a consultation by a physician. And I feel like by introducing more P's into Alberta, we'll be able to cut those wait times down and yeah, hopefully you know, serve our patients better. But I've also thought about wanting to contribute to the PA profession in Alberta, of course. And this is sort of, know being the only person from Alberta and being the first person from Alberta to go through the PA program at U of T it's something that I never really expected to have to take on but it's sort of just like fall into my lap this sort of responsibility or um, being a trailblazer I guess for Alberta PA specifically and so I do feel this sort of obligation to go back to Alberta and expand the profession because there aren't many there and we really do need PAs there because they can really contribute to the healthcare system in Alberta. I just don't think right now we're being utilized to our full, full ability. So I would love to go back to Alberta if I can, um, but I'd be open to staying here if, if needed. In what way would you want to contribute uh, in Alberta? I just want to make you know physicians and patients more aware of the profession. And even during my LCEs, the majority of the people that I would come across had never heard about a PA. And so I often took you know a lunch hour or a few minutes before starting my day with them and sort of explaining what I'm able to do, what I'm not able to do. And I even found just through going through my, uh, my LCEs, there was some interest that was peaking from physicians that had never even heard of the profession, but just you know, having me in the clinic, doing a few hours here and there, sort of exposed them to the idea of having this extended practitioner that was able to sort of do what a physician was able to do, but then um, not necessarily take over their job. Like there, was a w like, there was room for us that they had never really seen before. And even though we're sort of like a nurse practitioner, I often heard the comments from physicians that uh, even though I've only been in school for such a short period of time, that our education was really on par with what they learned in medical school, and a lot of the physicians really liked that. Mm -hmm. And even since I've been in the program, I've talked and met some more students from Alberta specifically that are interested in applying and are entering the program. And so I feel like I've sort of started a trend, I guess, mm -hmm. <laughs> hopefully. Mm -hmm.